In today's electric vehicle race, the manufacturing of its key component, the battery, is dominated by China. Six of the world's top ten battery makers are Chinese, with CATL and BYD taking a whopping 46 percent of the global market in 2022. That dominance has brought about the rise of support companies, offering intelligent factory solutions and equipment for battery manufacturers, companies such as Zhejiang Hanke. Competition is extremely fierce in China. To get ahead of the game, they have to be innovative, both in technological development and in raising capital. We raised $173 million by issuing global depository receipts. The money is mainly used for developing overseas markets, enhancing manufacturing capabilities, and optimizing after-sales service. This is the first listing in 2023 under the current stock neck program between China and Switzerland. The program was launched in July last year and allows companies traded on exchanges in either country to seek secondary listings on the other side by issuing Global Depository Receipts, or GDRs. So far, we have 10 Chinese companies that listed their GDRs on our exchange, raising about 3.4 US billion dollars. In terms of Chinese listings, the sixth Swiss exchange has outshone its European rival, the London Stock Exchange, as well as US stock markets, where Chinese listings only raised $470 million in the full year of 2022. Switzerland is one of the leading financial capital centers of Europe and in the heart of Europe. Uh, Switzerland is also very known for its innovation, for its competitiveness, and for its political and economical stability. For Hanke itself, it chose Switzerland for its fast-track listings process and closeness to one of its key markets. When these companies are having a lot of important clients, financial connections, business connections in Europe, then uh, getting listed in Switzerland is really a pretty good choice. Chen Jiahe acknowledges the shift in capital markets is taking place as the economic and trade tensions between China and the U.S. remain unresolved. When there is a tension rising up between these two economies, then many of the Chinese businesses will start to seek uh, different markets, you know, especially those markets that is not uh, directly following uh, the policy, foreign policies of U.S. The appetite of going to Europe continues to be strong, with 20 Chinese companies considering issuing GDRs in 2023. It's set to get a further boost if the stock net program expansion to Germany becomes a reality. Quan Xiangqing, CGTN.